Hi guys, it's Indira again and I am Indira. Oh wow, that makes sense. Today is um, start your morning in a happy way. So it's breakfast bars and uh, something to keep you going until your next meal. So remember, it's all about health and it's all about taste and it's all about happiness and Okay, so here we have my ingredients. Um, I have some, I finally chopped all this in my food processor. So here I have almonds, walnuts are brain food, pistachio nuts, cashew nuts. Now I don't use a lot of cashew, I do find them very high in calories, etc. Apricots, so good for you. Figs, great for your system. I've used mixed muesli here with a whole load of different um, berries in them. They've got strawberries, they've got blueberries, everything in this. Now to this, this gunky stuff here are prunes, good for your digestion. Brown sugar, now here you can use agave. I hope I've said that right, but anyway. And some oats if you want. Now here I have some coconut oil, and I also add a little bit of desiccated coconut at times. But mind you, you don't have to go very high on coconut because it, I believe, it is not so great for cholesterol. So I use just the coconut oil. And as I said, you could use the desiccated coconut. And this is all of it. But I can use a little nutmeg when I'm in the mood. Cinnamon also, which sets your metabolism higher. Ginger for cleaning the system. So those are options I will mention. But today I'm just going to chuck all this in. So, should we do that? Let's do it. Right, now here this healthy, healthy thing will probably last the whole week in this farm of mine. As you know, I live on a farm with people with very big appetites. Now this is something I leave on the kitchen table. People just come and take one and that kind of does. It's great because it's slow release of, of energy, etc. And um, as I said, you can subtract and add whatever you like to it. It's up to you taste-wise. And um, in case you have watched my other stuff on the farm and life on the farm, do send me a message if you want more of that sort of stuff because there's plenty where there ca that came from. So there you go. Um, now I'm starting with my coconut oil and I'm chucking that in. It has a wee bit of coconut in it as well, grated coconut, but desiccated coconut works as well. Now I'm going to just microwave this for 10 seconds so it gets slightly liquidy, otherwise I'm going to be struggling with serving, uh, stirring it. So here we go. Give me 10 seconds or 15 seconds. We'll see. Up. Oh, it's crackling away, so I reckon that's good enough. There you have it. I have kind of heated that down. So now coconut oil has become very, very popular. I mean, they call it one of the superfoods, but then some people are plus and minus on this one. It's like everything in life. You either like it or you hate it. Now, here we have it. I'm going to be adding, I'm going to start with using my muesli. Uh, here you can see all those lovely berries in it and there's bits of dry coconut. All that's gone bang in there. Now, if you like extra oats, you can do. Um, now, I have used about a cup and a half, almost two cups of muesli in this, and I've got, I've got a, a large tablespoon of brown sugar. Now, I do use substitutes instead as well. Um, when I'm in the mood, sometimes I actually even use some um, uh, artificial sweeteners in this, but I, it's not a priority with me. I do use not so much of it. Honey is great. Agave is great. Now, chopped apricots. I think the only time consuming thing in this is actually chopping. I use my processor and which is fine. But otherwise it literally, as you can see, is taking all of five minutes. The figs are going in there. I absolutely love figs. Um, prunes, 
This is also optional. There is raisin in there as well, by the way, in the muesli. But you can always add more raisins if that's what you like. Um, as I said, cashew nuts, I'm going to use only one tablespoon. I'm not mad about cashew nuts, I have to say. I like them in sort of savory stuff and pistachios. Again, I'm using about a tablespoon. This is like a tablespoon, tablespoon, not a, a technical tablespoon, as they say. Walnuts, brain food, we can do with that. And almonds. Now I've ground these quite large-ish, but sometimes, here's a little tip, you cheat and you use ground almonds. Very useful to bind your stuff together. So that's what I've done here. And that goes back. Now, I'm going to use a tablespoon of honey, but you don't necessarily have to after you've put all this in, but it just looks so nice when you do this. So I thought I'd just do that anyway. You know, it looks all cookery showish and all that. So there you go. Hope it doesn't ruin it. I'm also going to put nutmeg because it's lying here. And we're ready. So this is this really complicated way of living. Not. And we mush that together. And in about five seconds, I'll get bored with this and I will probably dig my hands in because it's much easier that way. And I will also destroy the counters. Okay, now I'm gonna get some hot water, boiling water. Um, and I'm gonna add that in there so it helps emulsify. I'm just gonna pour that in very slightly. What it does is it melts down the sugar and it also, all the fruits that release their sugar all gets in there and it starts helping the oats to swell up and it makes it a lot easier to mix, in other words. Now people use all sorts of things to make their breakfast bars harder and so on and so forth. I don't see the point because um, I think it's more about the breakfast bar being really healthy and rather than, um, you know, if it looks good and so on and so forth. And also, it shouldn't really be adding and adding and adding calories. The harder you want to make it, you probably land up adding saturated fats and so on and so forth. We don't want to be doing that, do we? I'm going to be putting this in a baking dish and I'm going to bake it. I bake it around 175 to 180 and I do it for about 20 minutes. Now that is about it. Now, oh look, there's some hazelnuts and everything in there. Yeah, that is nice. You can make them any shape you want. You can put them sort of flat in a baking dish, chop them into little squares, and or you can make them into little balls, and which is also nice because when I leave them on the counter in one of these, I take them with me to the stables when I'm going to clean the stables up. Mug of coffee and one of these, Bob's your uncle. Well, thank you for watching anyway, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye, and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers.